The one with the first yeah. question on it. Okay. No. Yes. Okay, I might be pausing in between to see if other people are joining, but I'm going to start with the first question. Okay. So I couldn't see this question properly. Okay. Is your screen cracked? No, I mean, like, I couldn't see the affected. Oh, uh, yes. Okay. No you couldn't more. see, yes. It is like number 13. That, that's a doubtful one yes, because no. it, it's not clear. But let's take a look at who's affected there. Um, just admit these people quickly. Okay. Okay. So, number one. Okay, uh, let's just, um, before we take a look at who's affected, let's take a look at just the basic uh, structure of a pedigree diagram. That's mommy. Number one is a mommy. Number two is a daddy. They get together, they do what they do to get kids, and then they had three kids. They had number five, number six, and number seven. Number yeah. seven and number eight got married. Okay, and they had kids. Or they didn't get married, but they had kids. And they had number 12, 13, 14, and 15. Normally they do explain to you, they normally do explain to you that um, the round is the ladies, uh, so females, and the square is the males. But even, it's the normal structure, it's always the same. Um, I always just remember that if, um, if you take a look at the round, the girls, you are nice and curvy, okay, so you're round, and then the males, you are more muscle-like, you are more box-like, and so you are the boxers. Okay, so let's quickly go and take a look at who's affected and who's not affected. Number one is not affected. Number two was not affected. Number three was not affected. Number four is colored in. Number four is affected. Number five, not affected. Number six is affected. Number seven, not affected. Number eight is affected. Nine, ten, and eleven is not affected. Let me just admit a few people here. Number 12 is affected. Number 13 is not. Number 14 is not. And number 15 is not affected. Okay. So now we can start. Let's go through the question first. Okay. So the following pedigree diagram is for color blindness. Determine the possible genotypes. Remember, genotypes is what the genes say, not what it looks like. So I might have a recessive gene, but because I also have a dominant gene, it's not showing. So I want to know the genotype, the XB, XB, the Y, and so forth. I don't want to know... Um, I'm not looking for, they're not asking me, is this person affected or not? I'm looking at what the genes are saying. So they might not have it, but they might carry it. Okay, so use XB. So this is sex linked. This is important in this question. This is a sex linked gene. And with sex linked genes, normally what happens is the, the female, she's a carrier, but she doesn't suffer from it normally so she can suffer from it but it's a very rare case so if we take a look at the diagram four six eight twelve all of those affected over there they are um all of those affected they are males none of the females are affected by the disease but but they can carry it to their children and normally their sons are going to be, for example, in this case, this is colorblind. Their sons are colorblind. They aren't, the, the, uh, the females aren't colorblind, but they gave the gene to their sons. And the simple reason for this, 
is the way that sex genes work. So, if I take, for example, an XB and a Y, so that's that's a male. He's got an X, he's got a Y. He's not affected, but he's got a capital B, and because he's got a capital B, it means that he's not affected. Let's take the other possible gene, X, B, and Y. This is also male. He's got an X, he's got a Y, but he's affected because he's got a small letter B over there. Now, with the ladies, what's going to happen? They're either going to have an XB, capital B, and an XB, capital B. Okay. This person is not affected. They've got two dominant genes, not colorblind. Let's take a look at the second scenario for the ladies. X, capital B. Just move that one out of the way. And an X, small letter B. So they carry the gene. They, they are called a carrier. Because they've got this small letter B that causes color blindness. But they're not affected because the dominant B takes over. The dominant overshadows the, the recessive B over there. So they're not color blind because they have a B to make up. Now with the males, that's unfortunate because they don't have a second capital B. And that's why they're normally affected by this disease. Is because they don't have that second X with a capital B that makes up for that small letter B. Now, the only way that a lady, that a female can be affected by colorblindness is she, if she receives one small letter B from mom and one small letter B from dad. And this is very rare if that happens. So normally females aren't affected by color blindness. It is, it is males affected by color blindness, but the females tend to be the carrier. So let's take a look at our question here. I want to know for each of these persons, what are they, what is their genotypes? So let's take a look at their genotypes then. Okay, so number one, female, She's not affected, so I know she's got to have a capital B. She's not affected. But number six is her son. Number six was affected. So number six um, got also a small letter B from her. So I've got to carry the small letter B. So she's X capital B x small letter b because she's carried that small letter b to her son but she's not affected so she's got to have a capital b as well let's take a look at number two he's not affected which means he's got a capital b x and he's got a y because he's a male males always x y females always x x let's take a look at number three to see if there's any other, anybody else joining? No. Okay. So, number three, not affected, female. So, she's got to have an XX. She's got a capital B, but she gave a small letter B to number eight, her son, because he's affected. So, there's a small letter B. Okay. Then, number four, he is affected, which means that he gave over a small letter B and a Y. So now the question is here, how do, how do I know that for number eight, that gene didn't come from number four? It can't. Because from that, number eight is a male. So he had to receive a Y from daddy. And so he had to receive the small it to be from mommy because he could only receive a Y from that because he's a boy. He's a male. So now we need to be careful because normally what we would take a look at the scenario, we see number four. Okay, number four is colorblind. This male is colorblind. His son is colorblind. So he probably inherited it from, from dad. And that's not the case. He didn't inherit it from dad. Because he got a Y from that. 
because he's a male. He could only have gotten the small letter B from mom. So while we're discussing number eight, let's finish him quickly. So we know he got a small letter B from uh, mom. And he know, we know that he got a Y from dad. So now we finished with number eight as well. Let's go to number five. Now, number five is a female. So she's got to have two X's. I know she doesn't suffer from the disease. So she's got to have a capital B. And then... That now we got a scenario. We don't know whether she's a small letter B or a capital B for the second allow. The simple reason for this is that she doesn't have any kids to show me that which one she is. So she could be capital B, capital B on the X, or she could be a capital B and a small letter B for number yeah. five. Okay, so she that, that is the only one in this whole scenario where we don't definitely know. Okay. I just want to double check out yeah, they're saying my internet's unstable. Oh, no, it's okay. Okay, then let's go to number six. He's affected. So that's an easy one. Small letter B. And he's a male. Why? Small letter B. Y for number six. Number seven is not affected. Okay, so number seven is not affected. So I know number seven it definitely has a capital B. But they passed on to number 12, a small letter B. Number 12 is affected. So he's got to have a small letter B as well for number seven. Nine and ten is quite easy. Females, not affected. But, but, I know that they received a small letter B from number four. That's the only one they could have received from number four. Because they're female. If they received the Y, they would have been male. So for number nine and ten, they had to receive small letter Bs from dad. Because they, they didn't receive the Y from dad. But they're not affected. So they were lucky. They got the capital B from mom. Got capital B from mom. Okay, because they're not affected. But they, they are carriers, and if they had children, they would pass, they could pass on that, that small letter B to their children. Number 11 is quite easy, because he's not affected. It has to be a capital B, and it's a male, so he has to have a Y as well. And I know he's not affected, so that's why it's a capital B over there. Let's go on to number 12. Number 12 is affected. Number 12 is affected. Okay, so for number 12, it's a small letter B and a Y. There we go. Small letter B and a Y, because he's a male. Number 13 is not affected, so she has to have a capital B. But let's take a look now. Um, if you take a look at mom and dad, they, she, had to, she didn't receive Y from that because she's a female. She had to receive an X. And the only X she's receiving from that could be as, um, is a small letter B. So she is a carrier, but not a sufferer. Now, number 14, male, not affected, easy, not affected, so it's capital B, and Y, because he's a male. Number 15, not affected, and it's the same case as of number 13, we know she's not affected, so she has a capital B, but we know dad could only have given a, a small letter B, because he didn't give her a Y, he only had a small letter B to give and that is number, that is now everyone. That's the whole 15. So you got to take it one for one. You got to take a look at what are the children showing? Are their children affected? What are their parents showing? Are their parents affected? Okay, let's go on to number 
the next one, number, uh, the second question. Okay, so this is quite common.